So we're holding an Unmask in Gloryvale evening. It's a fundraising evening for the people who've left Gloryvale and choose to come and live out here in South Canterbury and other parts of the South Island. And so we're um, excited to be interviewing some of the panellists and we'll be talking about some of the more secretive aspects of the community. People telling their stories is really healing, it's quite cathartic, it's important for them that they're allowed to tell their stories. Some choose not to, um, but for others it's just part of their journey and they are actually wanting meaningful change in Gloria Vale. We have had one election since we left Gloria Vale, so this is my second one, but um, yeah, I do enjoy the freedom to be able to make the decision for myself who we're going to vote for um, and yeah I guess one of the biggest challenges for my wife and I has been having such a big family and um, Gloria Vale is built to cater for having big families so there's a lot of support and it's all set up so um, you don't have to look after your own kids that much. There's other people to do it for you to a fair degree. Um, so yeah, having to look after our own family's been a big thing. I've only been out of Glory about 10 months, so um, I feel like I'm still learning a lot. Um, I think the hardest thing has been catching up on all the things that I've never done before. Just all the things that a, a normal mum with children would or had, have already learnt to do. I'd never used like an iPhone or an F post card or done banking or I didn't have a driver's licence. So yeah, just lots of little things. The only thing I miss is my family, members that are still there. Yeah. I miss them lots and I'd, it would be really nice to just ring them up whenever I wanted to. but. I, yeah, I don't want to make it difficult for them.